is the voiceover biz showbiz. What should your expectations be? That's what we're going to talk about this morning in the morning huddle. How are you doing? Welcome to the morning voiceover huddle. My name is Bill DeWeese. I am a professional voice actor, voice talent, which I've been doing on a full-time basis from my home studio for the past 17 years. I'm also a voiceover coach and uh, creator of the voiceover blueprint training program. Thank you guys for being here this morning. And by the way, let me just say a quick, take a moment to say thanks for those of you who uh, bought my new book, the digital download, along with the, um, the audio book that comes along with it. I appreciate it so much. It's been amazing uh, just to see how many people have, have gotten a hold of it, have already read it, have already reviewed it. <laughs> I, I love it. And there is a link in the description, by the way, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't gotten it yet. So, uh, and by the way, would always appreciate if you left your honest review on Amazon for that as well. So, and today I should mention it's, it's, I would be uh, remiss if I did not mention that today is opening day for the Cincinnati Reds. It's a home opener. And my wife, I'm trying not to be jealous right now, but my wife is going to the, to the uh, Cincinnati Reds opening day parade in downtown Cincinnati today. She's going there with her brother. Of course, she grew up here. And um, I have to work. I've got, I've got voiceover stuff to do, but I will be, I'll be at the parade and at the game today in spirit. That is for sure. Well, let's talk about something that I, th I think is important, and it has to do with expectations. And if you follow me at all, you know that I'm really big on expectations, setting expectations right, because people who, who have expectations, who come into voiceover with a certain idea of the way they think it is or should be, and if, when it's not that way, they oftentimes become discouraged and quit. So I think drawing as accurate a picture on the front end as I can is, is providing a public service for those who are thinking about, or maybe early on in the stages of voiceover. So I think it's easy to think of voiceover as show business, and as, I guess in a certain way it is, but generally speaking, it is far more business than it is show. And I think that is the point at which a lot of people don't make it in voiceover, because they come in thinking it, that it's show business, meaning they don't have to do a lot on the business end of things, that you know, if they get an agent, They'll take care of that, that all I have to do is hang my shingle that says, Bill DeWeese, voiceover talent, and people will just automatically come to me and sign up for my services and so on and so forth. And it doesn't work that way. Voiceover is a real business, meaning you've got to do all the stuff that any business owner would, whether it's selling widgets or servicing washers and dryers or whatever, you've got to do all the same stuff. And especially nowadays, because uh, the business is such as most smaller business are, businesses are, that you've got to cover most of those bases yourself, especially if you want to be profitable earlier on. And so you're the person who has to, who has to market yourself, who has to go out and hustle that business. You're the one that has to create the product. You have to do the recording and the editing. You have to service the client. And it's, it's, in my humble opinion, it's one of the greatest experiences in the world to take on the responsibility of being self-employed. It's because it's the ultimate self-responsibility because you're at that point saying, I'm not depending on them or them. It's not up to them to make sure that, that I'm successful or that I can take care of my family. I'm taking that on myself. I will be responsible for that. I will go through the growth that it takes. I will become the person that it takes to be able to do those things successfully. I will make myself uncomfortable. I will walk through that valley of incompetence to get to competence and all that goes with it. And when you do that, it's amazing the kind of person you can come out on the other side. So I, you know, I wish everybody was self-employed because the rewards are so, and I'm not just talking about the money that you can make doing it, but the personal growth that 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 you uh, have, the uh, the the confidence that it builds, the kind of person that you become as a result is just it's amazing, it's transformative, and I wish everybody would do it. But that being said, those who expect that this is more show, in other words, they're looking for. And let me just give you this is a, a wide sweeping generalization, but but by and large, voiceover talent we're we're people who like to be acknowledged by other people. We love it when people say, "Hey, great job, at a boy, at a girl, pat on the back, awards, acknowledgement. you know we we just you know love to live that kind of life. 
And a lot of people think that getting into voiceover is that kind of life, that it's, that it's glamorous. You know, you get your, your voice, you know, and sure, and it's exciting when your voice uh, is, you know, if you're doing like voiceover dub, dubs for a movie and you watch that movie and you hear yourself, even though nobody else may know it's you or really care, it's exciting. When you hear your voice on a national TV ad or radio ad, that's exciting. I had somebody the other day email me and said, hey, I heard your voice on the AARP, <laughs> yes, AARP driver's education course I was taking. And just the fact that they actually realized it was me, I thought that was pretty cool. You know, even if it was for, you know, now I'm, you know, I am the AARP demographic talking to, to my, you know, my people. So, uh, you know, even so, that's exciting. And I, and I guess that's, you know, you could kind of lump that into the idea of show business. But understand that those things, those acknowledgments are few and far between. You know, occasionally I have a client come back to me and say, hey, great job, Bill. Uh, I mean, it happens on a fairly regular basis, but it's not, it's not like a big parade and parties thrown. And I don't expect it because I don't always get it. Even people have used me for years and years and years and years. Don't make a big deal out of it every time I record something for them. So if you're somebody who risk desperately needs the affirmation of other people, it might be a better idea to get that through going through therapy and kind of figuring that out and then coming into voiceover. And I say that half jokingly, but, but seriously, because when our expectations are built around that, then it can be really disappointing. But voiceover, I think, is the, uh, the reason I get on here every morning is because it's, I think it's the most wonderful thing in the world. It's, it's an outlet. It's a way to, to express your, your personality um, and help other people at the same time, whether it's through e-learning and training. Yesterday, I, I worked on this. It was long, like a 22-page um, e-learning project. It has to do with gas wells. I don't know anything about gas wells aside from what I read you know, in that script. And you would think to yourself, well, that's not very exciting. And yeah, maybe it's not as exciting as, you know, hearing yourself in a movie or on a national TV ad. But even that, just knowing the gratification of knowing that I'm helping somebody to learn something that will make them better at their job or might keep them safe in their job, might save their life. I mean, some of the things we do, I mean, have, have those kind of consequences. So there is... There's gratification in all areas, but I but you need to understand in what form that comes and the frequency in which that comes, which generally speaking is not all that frequent. But at the same time, being able to do it on your own and to build the skills that are required to become the kind of person that can be successful running your own business and a kind of business where you express yourself creatively. It's just, for me, there's nothing quite like it. So is voiceover show business no, not actually. There might be elements of it. It's more business business. But for me, that's where I get, that's where my joy comes from. I mean, I absolutely love it. That's why I enjoy coaching it. And that's why if you want to find out more information, you can just go to BillDeweeseLive.com. BillDeweeseLive.com. You can get all the info there.